Did you know we spend at least $600 million a year fighting drugs in Latin America alone? That statistic, courtesy of the Drug Enforcement Agency. Reporter Dennis Ferrier joins us live with the flip side of that statistic as the Milwaukee-Columbia connection continues. Liz, the flip side is a futile one. The drug people are making from 14 to $18 billion a year. $600 million may net you some big names and some big busts, but it's not keeping the coke out of your hometown. Colombian farmers like Don Victor can't invest in their land. The Colombian government loans money at a rate of 24 to 28 percent. Silk for Life's nonprofit success has brought a Jeep to Don Victor and a few wheels to the women of Timbio. But as the Silk Project grows, it will take money to feed. We have this wonderful batch of, of bread, maybe, that we're mixing, this dough that we're mixing, and I really think that we need some yeast. That's all that we need. And I think that any agency, hopefully the Agency for International Development, would be willing to be the yeast, but no more than that. You see, there's a, there's a little bit of a, a delicate situation here where I think it's historical that for the first time the people are getting themselves together, pulling themselves up by the bootstraps, um, looking for um, a, an opportunity to be capitalists. The United States spends $600 million a year on the drug war in Latin America. But the cocaine triangle yields 14 to 18 billion dollars a year. Silk for Life's idea is to take radar equipment and tactical advisors and replace them with backhoes and teachers. The question begging for an answer is whether silk can truly replace cocaine. Congressman Gerald Kletchka and Senator Herb Cole want to give it a shot. They are pushing a $200,000 appropriation for the project. Mayor John Norquist is recommending a $50,000 grant for the Milwaukee side. And down in Columbia, some Bogota businessmen are betting their fortunes on it. Tierra Dentro is a one million acre Indian reservation in south central Colombia. The 10,000 families who live here voted to stop growing coca and start raising silk. Some of those families still have doubts. Pues hay a medio, a medio, sí, a uno ya va entendiendo algo, sí, Ajá. con las explicaciones sí, y entonces uno va guardando ese ambiente. Ajá. Entonces estamos pidiendo de nuevamente otro taller en siguiente para... Increíble. Others have already arrived. Pulsar al máximo este proyecto, ojalá por medio de muchas entidades y ya de ustedes también, porque pues... Eso es lo que necesitamos, un cambio de, de, de ciertas cosas que no son legales, que no son beneficio de, de la comunidad. That change is partially forced. Coca is causing problems in this region. The discovery of these ancient tombs should have been a windfall. Built from 700 to 900 A.D. by Paez Indians, they are in remarkable shape. But tourism isn't developing. The coca trade and guerrilla activity is turning Tierra Dentro into a ghost town. Its one hotel had no guests when we checked in. If we could just really open our hearts to see these folks as human beings that are just struggling to stay alive and see them as excellent business partners, then we'll do things, you know, we'll, if, if we see them as our business partners rather than as our enemies, and we as Americans, you know, recognize a good business deal, um, then we could, we could think about how can we creatively get some credit to them. Silk for Life will continue to expand as fast as it can, ignoring the drug cartels while concentrating on the growers. The other problems will need other answers. All the efforts, or most of the efforts, are going on how to stop the traffic but uh, there, are not, there is not much questioning about why is people using drugs and why do I need some money to use drugs. And I think our, our culture, and I am talking about not only Colombia, but all the Western culture, is very poor on answers. Silk for Life has decided these big problems need to be attacked piece by piece. The Automobile Dealers Association of Mega Milwaukee is supplying some of the parts, Today, Adam gave the project a Ford truck. This truck is going to Columbia, but it's also working here. As Senator Cole pointed out, this is 
creating cottage industry here in Milwaukee, where, where I understand these Hmong women are weaving silk, but at the same time, and the most important thing, this is a fight against drugs. Hansen adds that the whole project sounds like a good business deal. And Liz, from what I've learned from being in Colombia, I would say within a year that truck will save someone's life. And that's not being melodramatic, it's the dramatic circumstances of those people. And maybe they can get some funding to repair some of those roads that look so treacherous. Oh, and we're going to talk about those tonight on Street Talk. Okay, we'll see you later on Street Talk. Marlon's in next with a weekend outlook that doesn't exactly call for a celebration. We'll be right back.